Army Heritage Days is an annual event held in May at the U.S. Army Heritage and Education Center in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. My name is Craig Hall. Uh, I basically consider myself a, uh, an amateur military historian. I do various impressions. And this impression here today is to represent the contribution of the Soviet Union as an ally of the Americans and the British to helping them win World War II. Uh, we have to give either e equal credit to our allies. Now, some would say we couldn't have done it by ourselves, but the point is that people ask me why do I do this impression, and I think because the reason is that we need to tell the story about the Eastern Front, okay? If you don't understand what happened on the Eastern Front, you don't understand World War II. The Soviets made a significant contribution to winning that war. Now, for example, what I normally do is on my display on the table over here, I have a National Geographic magazine. It's dated May of 1944. The first article in it has to do with the liberation of the Ukraine. The point being, the significance of that is that, of course, one month later, we had D-Day, and the point the relationship of the Soviet contribution is that as of that date, when we push, when you liberate the Ukraine, you have effectively pushed the Germans out of your country. So by that point in time, one month before D-Day, we had been occupying 65% maybe of the best German troops fighting us. If we hadn't done that, if they hadn't failed at, if we had failed at Moscow or Stalingrad or Kursk, uh, all of those troops could well have been on the Normandy beaches and it could have been a different outcome.